guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a new theory in regards to the Speed Force and how Barry can get his speed back and what this new version of the Speed Force is going to be. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So we're going to be talking about this theory and this theory was brought up by one of you guys who messaged me and I kind of thought about it and I wanted to actually expand on it and make a proper theory because I think this is an interesting idea in regards to Barry's new speed force, his artificial speed force that he is going to be making. And so this viewer was watching season 2's last few episodes and it's at the point where Barry gets sent into the speed force after Harry tries to recreate the particle accelerator explosion. Barry's having a conversation with the speed force or you know the manifestation of the speed force and says if you would rather have given these powers to someone else why did you give them to me to which speed force replies because you're the flash Barry and so this is the theory that was brought up so the theory is what if Barry was actually the first ever speedster because really when you think of it all of the other speedsters are either from another earth or they're from the future right so if they're from the future that means that there was an original one and even remember Savitar and like how he claimed that he was a speedster all those many years ago. They built up all that mythology due to his followers and really in the end he was just Barry Allen. But what happens if that version of Barry Allen and our normal Barry were actually the first ever speedster? So maybe he is correct. And so yeah most of the speedsters we've seen from the show are from the future or another earth. And the one who succeeds Barry, well you know like Wally or anyone that gets powers after him or gets powers on this earth like Nora again she's from the future but I think Wally's the closest one that we can kind of compare to because he got his powers due to something similar to how Barry got his powers so yeah that's interesting let me know what do you think about that in the comments down below do you think he's actually the first ever speedster ever and so what if in season 7 the speed force Barry creates is actually the original speed force like the real speed force because it's kind of a similar thing to what happened with Gideon and you know Barry being told oh you make Gideon in the future but how does Barry have it in the past right obviously there's a few issues there in regards to the timeline and how Gideon can actually exist but kind of the same thing goes with this theory is that Barry created the speed force in the future while well, the future being this season Obviously that's the future to the first couple of seasons and you know especially season one when he first got his powers but that is the future right and that's the same thing as Barry creating Gideon in the future but being able to use it in the past so what happens if Barry creates the speed force this season but he thinks he's creating an artificial speed force but unknowingly he's basically reviving and creating the speed force that gave himself powers so that's interesting and so in the comics the lightning bolt that struck Barry the night he got his powers was actually given to him by a future version of himself directing that lightning bolt to himself in the past and so that kind of ends on a big loop because you know that's like how Barry started first gets his powers and he is the one who starts his journey but also ends his journey because he is the lightning bolt that struck him and that is his end of his story. And so what happens if this is the way that they end the show in a couple of seasons or however long until the Flash ends? If Barry becomes the Lightning Bolt, if he creates the Speed Force, he definitely has the ability to tap into it. And so I think this would be a kind of fitting end. Obviously, we theorize about things similar to this because, again, this is known because this is how it goes in the comics. And so, would Barry becoming the actual lightning bolt and striking his younger self would end the show on a full loop from the beginning to the end and it's like a cycle and it ends and starts at the same point essentially and I think that will be very fitting. So that's just another theory in regards to the Speed Force and Barry creating this. And so, it's kind of similar to the idea of them always going back to that one night where Nora Allen was killed. In the way that you know it all kind of loops back around and everything kind of is linked and so furthering on from the point but what happens if Barry creates the speed force this season which turns out to be the original speed force and the speed force that died again that's kind of a loop because it exists 
and then somehow it's introduced in the past, maybe around the time when Nora Allen was killed, and it wasn't always a thing like it kind of was said before, but it was actually created in the future, and obviously Barry wouldn't know until the point that he creates it. So what happens if the original Speed Force this season is the reason why all the speedsters come back from the future, but no speedsters come from the past? So that's interesting because that is a big true fact for the show and the way that they bring in speedsters. Like we said, it's either from another Earth, it happens after Barry was turned into the Flash, or it's from the future. And they're all able to be speedsters, but not coming from the past, but coming from the future because Barry creates the Speed Force and he's essentially reviving it or introducing it for the first time so that more people can tap into it and it's not just like the luck of getting hit by a lightning bolt or something like that but it's actually a thing that people can you know get involved in and actually take their power from if it's deserving and the person is granted Speed Force powers and maybe you can aim that lightning bolt at you know whatever person you want we will see but it was always artificial, maybe that would be the twist, I think that would be a cool twist because it's kind of unexpected and you know the whole idea of them creating an artificial speed force, them struggling with creating it, but then it turns out, oh this is the answer to all of their worries, that they're literally reviving the speed force in a way, even though it hasn't been created yet, but it was somehow brought back to the past. And so perhaps we will somehow, in the midst of this, we could see the original version of The Flash. Well, that version of The Flash that we first saw from the other timeline who stopped Barry from saving his mum and fought the Reverse Flash as they travelled back in time. And that was kind of set up as your original Crisis event, but obviously that changed due to the timelines changing and Crisis was a completely different thing. So the original Flash, Barry from the future, could return and this could be at the point where Barry maybe has some sort of realization or revelation that you know we see in visual form through flashbacks that he is looking back at all these past events and kind of adding it up and realizing this was always the way it was meant to be and that he creates the speed force kind of like how he eventually will create Gideon in the future so just quickly talking about Gideon and how and why and uh, like what point could that eventually happen? Again, could happen this season, I guess. I would say it's probably going to happen before the show eventually ends in the next few seasons because they've been teasing that for a long while and we haven't really got any definitive answer apart from that Gideon has said, oh, you created me, Barry Allen, you created me in the future and somehow Reverse Flash, Eobard Thorn hijacked it and has been using a version of Gideon. And so maybe with Reverse Flash supposedly returning at some point in the season, they could wrap this whole Speed Force thing into him because the last time we saw him, he was trying to get a host. He was trying to, you know, exist again, basically, and he tried to take over Nash Wells. That's where we got the exorcism of Nash Wells episode. So what happens if this all links back and Barry was, in fact, the first ever speedster, and that's why no speedsters come from the past, but they all come from the future? Or they come from another Earth because that's a different reality, so that doesn't affect, you know, what's happening on Earth Prime. And also, what do you think about the original Speed Force idea? Like, if the one that he creates this season was the original Speed Force and it's always been artificial and it wasn't there, like they said, would you be down for that twist? I think that twist would be very interesting and it opens up a lot of opportunities about exploring the Speed Force. And maybe with him creating the Speed Force, he gets even more powerful because he's the one originally harnessing it. And he's the one that created it along with Cisco and whoever else, like Caitlyn, is working on it. So, what do you think about all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications if you haven't already so you don't miss any daily videos here on the channel. And remember guys, live stream is on Tuesday this week. So I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.